Whitney up top against this 2-3 defense. And now to Whitney. Now to Baird will fire a long three and good for the step back three from Mary Baird. Cutting this deficit to three. 16-13, the Cougars now lead. Mellinger into the corner to Perez now. Nobody guarding Soldat underneath. Soldat puts it up and in with an easy bucket. Great play by Bermudez. Give her seven early in this one as we work under 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Whitney now over to Braxton Cox. Austin Cox will fire the three partially blocked. And the foul will go against Spear. As new substitutes in here, uh, Hendrickson, Vesteca, and Spear, along with, on the other side, Iabrera and, and uh, Mellinger. She's got it here in the corner now to Soldat. She'll fire the long two-pointer. Going to be no good, and Spear's going to try and rip out of there, and that's going to take us to quarter. The Cougars stay hot for all the entirety of that first quarter. They lead 18 to 13, 18 and the 13 output here in the first quarter that maybe uh, three games in four days is just what they ordered. As Shylin falls back into the zone, goes inside to Mary Baird, up around Hepsey, and she'll be fouled and go to the line. A lot of shooting fouls, a lot of opportunities for the line so far for Northern Valley. Yeah, it's, it's, that's a good job on her part, getting it down low, being strong, drawing the foul. So Mary Baird was a participant in the free throw contest for Northern Valley. Here at the league tournament, they always, uh, um, the teams battle down to see who can shoot the best free throw percentage, and then they have it all the way out. I don't know. They'll have that on Saturday night to finish this one. This one's an air ball, and it's going to be a violation turned over to the Cougars. But... You know, something else that uh, I needed to say, and I meant to say during pregame that I forgot about it, Alejandra Perez also made the WKLL All-League Academic Team this year. So I like that, the fact that the, the administrators make that a priority just as well. Besteca now trying to go baseline. is going to get bumped in there by right. And she'll have it underneath Northern Valley. That's uh, going to be the sixth foul on the Cougars now. First on Grace. I missed the foul on there on one of them. But I'll try and get that at half. More a wardrobe malfunction there, I guess, as they want to clean that up, getting the ball into Spear. Turnover on a on a travel call. Grace right into the corner, tried to get in a sold ad, and she does. She's going to take it up. This one's blocked by Baird, rebound by Hendrickson. Vesteca now to Whitney. Northern Valley with a skip pass here to Spear. She's going to fire the long two-pointer, no good. Grace with the rebound. Grace Wright looking, she's got uh, Perez, but she thought about it a long time. She had Perez ahead of everybody. Now Perez has got it inside. Now she gets it into Soldad. Soldad turns, Bermudez scores again. Bermudez now with nine in the game. And a lot of them have been just chip shot opportunities right there. As Vesteca is gonna fire a three, no good. Bermudez with the rebound. Twenty to fourteen, the Cougars out to an early lead here as we're into second quarter of play. They get the ball into Hepsi. Now to Grace. She's gonna do a little floater as she goes to the rim. Easy score, easy bucket there for Grace. Nice play. She just took advantage of that big screen there by Soldad Bermudez and was able to connect on that floater. Here's Spear with an inside jump shot, no good. Rebound tried to save there by Hendrickson. She's going to have a foot on the line. It's going to go over to Northern Valley. Subs in here for them. Jaden, Jaden Spear, Braxton Cox, Austin Cox. So we'll set that line up here as we'll go Whitney. No, excuse me, Vesteca, Braxton, Austin, Jaden Spear, and Mary Baird. 
Right pass is stolen by Cox, and there's nobody in there. As it's going to be not a double dribble, but travel. Turn over here for Austin. Inside to Mellinger. Now she'll find Perez with the skip pass. Now wide open Grace in the corner. Northern Valley will get it underneath. Come on, Harley. Help me out here, man. 22-14. Shyland up. Cox into the corner, finds Mary Barrett underneath. This file, this one's going to be blocked by, by Wright. Ball's tied up. Cheyenne Lynn will control it on the possession arrow. Those are the looks Northern Valley wants to get into. Get the ball down, down low and, and go up strong with it. Mellinger inside. They're making easy passes inside, and, and Bermudez misses this one, but she's been... Just about automatic underneath when she gets it there. Braxton Cox open for three. We'll fire this one up and in for Braxton. 22-17 now the Cougars lead. Northern Valley just needs to step up, play a little defense here. Inside to Bermudez. Three-second violation called there by Bermudez as Northern Valley gets the defensive stand that they were after. Northern Valley's been doing a lot of their scoring from the outside and from the free throw line of those two places where they've gotten some buckets here early tonight. Cox is going to go baseline here with a jump shot and no good, but Spears there for the offensive rebound. She'll get a second shot. She'll get a third shot. She'll get a... Fourth opportunity as she comes out of there again. How are you? Four opportunities there for Northern Valley. They control on the on the uh, hell ball. Inside to Spear again. This one no good as well. Man, that thing had a lid on it, didn't it, Harley? Yeah. <laughs> Into the corner to Perez. She tries to go baseline. Gets a foul call on that one. Spears going to go to the line, or Spear going to pick up her second foul. Into Perez. Corner jump shot for Bermudez is no good. Mary Barrett with the rebound. Cox whips it over to Vesteca now to Braxton Cox. Thought about a three now to Whitney. Whitney will go to the rim. No whistle this time. And its ball's going to be out of bounds and go over to the go over to the Cougars. Coach Hawks is not happy about that one. As the Cougars set here. Grace now to Mellinger. Grace right now back to Mellinger as Northern Valley's daring him to shoot it from the outside, and Perez will shoot it from the outside. It's long, rebounded by Vesteca. Whitney's got it on the wing. She'll fire the three. No good on that one. Saved in there by uh, Mary Baird. Good hustle. And Whitney now back to Cox, trying to get it inside and does to Mary Baird, puts it up, no good. Big contact and no whistle, but there's gonna be a travel on Grace. Grace Wright, big rebound. Her and Vesteca came together. I understand why they didn't blow their whistle because they both kind of went together at each other. It was gonna be one that uh, somebody was gonna feel really bad about that one. And so they didn't. Vesteca's gonna fire this three. It's gonna be blocked in there. Nice block by Ibera. Perez again on the outside, lob pass inside to Bermudez, 
she's going to just be a bruiser inside and scores again. That's a good job on her part, going up strong. Great catch, great finish by Bermudez on the other end, and she is just dominating this game from the block. Here's Whitney going to have an opportunity to go all the way to the rim and score it. It's going to be a one-and-one -one opportunity as the crowd is giving it to him. For, or second foul on uh, Perez. Going to have a lane violation. Couldn't tell until the whistle blew. Second one from Whitney. No good. Jump ball goes over to the Cougars. Perez here in this close corner here is Grace. Lob pass inside to Bermudez. Couldn't get it. Little pass outside. Yep. As they got a backcourt violation as, as Perez had gained, gained control of that one. Here we go back into action. Whitney inside to Spear. Looking for Cox and finds her. Tries to kick back out. No good. And a travel in there. Called on Grace. Harley, I didn't see it. I, I didn't see it either. I didn't see it either. All I saw him with his travel call in there. Cox eyes a three, fires a three, nails a three. Three threes in the game here for Northern Valley. One by Baird, one by Cox, and one by Austin Cox. And, and Braxton Cox has one as well. Has kept Northern Valley in this game. The long ball has. As Bermudez has just dominated underneath for this entire first half. This, per, this three fired by Perez is going to be long. No good. Cox with the rebound. And trying to push. She's got numbers. If she can find them, she's going to find Smisteca into the corner. Back out to Cox. Swing to Whitney. Inside to Braxton Cox, short corner, no. And Grace Wright re gets that rebound ripped out of there with, as we go under a minute and 20 to go here in this first half. Bermudez now to right at the top of the key, swing it to Mellinger. Excuse me. That pass is stolen in there by Jaden Spear. It was a good read. She knew it was coming. She jumped it at the right time. Cox into the corner, get it inside to Austin. She's going to turn. She's going to shoot the jump shot. No call, no foul, and this one's going to be controlled in there. But Jaden Spears going to have that one ripped out of her hand, and Northern Valley will reset it. And it'll be a turnover as the backcourt violation occurred as we go into 45 seconds here with 44.2 here left in this first half. Uh, the Cougars up 40 or 24-20. Trying to make a good finish here to the half as both these teams are probably getting a little gassed here as the third game in four days. A few shots been coming up short. Ibera or Ibera here into the corner back to Perez. She'll pump fake and go to the baseline with a little floater, no good. And another jump ball called. Northern Valley's got this one. Northern Valley needs to get on the scoring column right here to get this one into a one-bucket game in before half. Inside to Baird. She turns. Travel call inside there on Baird. Here's Perez. And right. And she is fouled there by Vasteca. And the ball will go underneath as we're at 8.2 to go in this first half. 
Ibera flips it all the way to sold out in the corner. She's going to shoot the three, and she's going to drill it. That's exactly that's exactly what you need, and that's exactly what they got. They got a three to end it, stretching that lead to seven. As the the Cougars points there early in that first half. They Keep feeding have, her underneath. They also have Peruski, Peruski back in now too. So yeah, Peruski had those two fouls and she sat a lot of that first, or that second quarter. Now she's back patrol in the middle and they give it to her at the high post. As Northern Valley's changed up the defense, they've gone to a triangle and two. They're going on uh, Soldad, Bermudez, and Grace Wright. They've gone to a straight. Uh, triangle and two is the Cougars are trying to figure out what kind of offense they're going to run here. Northern Valley's had some successes with some different kind of defenses. This time it's going to be, uh, is that I, Ibera? Ibera with that bucket there. She leaks inside and gets out opening. And the Cougars start out in a little bit more of a pressure man as the Steka with a dribble in and, and, Missed on her jump shot. Perez rips the rebound away from her teammate and sets the offense. As the Huskies got to talk a lot when you're in this defense because there's some of them that are in a zone and some of them that are in a man-to-man. -man. That's what that triangle and two means. It means Stephanie Whitney is going to be matched up and, and uh, Stephanie uh, or Shaley Vesteca also going to be uh, – and it works right there. The frustration by Grace Wright's going to pick up her third foul, right? Oh, it's just her second. That Sorry about that. That was a good job on Shaley's part of getting the box out, making her go over and push her in the back for the foul. When you haven't gone against a defense like that, uh, sometimes it's a struggle to figure out exactly how to attack it. Northern Valley with a long jump shot here. Whitney is good. A two-pointer in the corner for Stephanie Whitney. Guarded one-on-one. -on -one. As Northern Valley looks like they might have switched defenses now to a straight man-to-man -man inside to Perez. Long on this one. And a foul on Cox underneath. As she missed that, she'll go to the line. She'll shoot two. Austin's first. Team first of the second half. Perez will go to the line. Short on the first one for Perez. Second one up and good. Nothing but net for Perez. Her first points of the night. Bastekas pass is pulled off by Perupski to Mellinger or excuse me, to Ibera, now to Grace Wright to set it. I like the camera angle here in this gym, don't you, Harley? I hope you guys do at home. We're up on the stage here in the community building as Perupski, Perupski's going to fire a three, no good. Whitney with the rebound, and she'll bring it all the way up to Cox. Now to Braxton Cox, open for a three. She'll fire it and splash. Braxton Cox has been hitting as of late. That's what Northern Valley needs is some offense here. And uh, they got it there with that shot. And a timeout. And that uh, uh, just told them to calm down and realize that all you got to do is run your offense and run just like they're either playing a straight man-to-man -man and you'll have opportunities. Grace breaks this man-to-man -man pressure. She's picked up the ball here at half court and the count is on. Now to Perez. Perez dribbles out here to the top. Goes around Cox straight to the rim. She'll be fouled and she'll go to the line. This foul goes against Braxton. As she was covering for Austin who got beat out there on the dribble. Braxton second. Team second. And Perez misses this one. She had just gone to the line, gone two for, or one for two on the last time around. Second one is no good as well. 
Whitney come away with it. Braxton now to Tania Spear, who's just into the game. No good. Perupski with a big rebound. Now Grace Wright trying to break down man-to-man -man pressure press there by Vesteca. A flex cut in there for, for the Cougars, and now that there's a dead ball here, get to right. Flex cut around here. It's going to be an open shot for Perez, up and in and good. They're just good running pass. a simple flex offense, but they're, they're scoring at will on it. And that was a good cut on, on uh, Alondra Perez's part, too. That's what the flex offense is all about, is strong, fast cuts. Veer opened another one. This one's no good for her. As Bermudez secured that rebound. Now a long pass up here to Brooke. Inside here is Grace right up. No good. She'll get her own rebound. Now back to Solda. Bermudez for a bank shot up and in for Bermudez. That's her first points of the second half. Spear into the corner. Now to Whitney. And a foul out top is going to go on Ibarra. Ibarra? Ibarra. Ibarra, thank you. Harley, great work on that. Ibarra's second, is that what they said? No, first. This one's going to be stole by Perez out in front of everybody. Whitney's going to get up there. You can't. Hospital and clinics and health. Firing back right in here to action here in the third quarters. We're under 3.30 to go. The wide open three is missed by Perupski, and it'll be out of bounds to Northern Valley. That was Soledad. That was Soledad. Excuse me. Good work there, Harley. Cox with the spin move out top. She'll find Spear now. It's over to her sister Spear in the corner. Back to Cox. Baird to open for a three, fires. This one's going to be off the front iron. No good. Big rebound by Bermudez. Long three here by Grace, and good. They didn't come out and mark her down, and she knocks it down. Grace Wright with her second three in the game, and that was a big one now as they've stretched that lead to 37-25. to 25. Swing to Cox. She'll try and answer that three with her own. This one's going to be long. No good. And Perez tracks down that one. And calmly resets that defense as Northern Valley now switched back into a zone. They get it in Hepsi. Hepsi dumps inside, tries to get it to Bermuda. She tracks it all the way to the corner. Left open again as Grace Wright, and she knocks it down again. What a shot there. Six quick points there for uh, uh, Grace Wright. Foul going to be up front on Grace Wright. Looks like his Cox went around her. Yep, Grace is going to get it. Her third foul on the evening. Team's third. Shylin's offense has just been spectacular most of the night, and right now it's shining hot. Vesteca now to Cox. She'll fire another three. She's been hot from there so far tonight, but this one's not going to go for. Offensive rebound, Austin into the corner to Spear. Spear in the corner. Skip pass to Vesteca. Now swing it all the way around to Braxton Cox. Thought about it. Will fire the three. This one's going to be short. No good. Mellinger with the rebound. Shailene can take their time right now, up 15, and if I was them, I'd find Grace, except she, I, I spoke too soon. They had to substitute her out with that third foul. <sighs> Grace 
This foul will go against the Cougars. Third foul against Perupski. Excuse me, Hepsi gets that one. Hepsi's third, team fourth. As Shylane's going into a man-to-man -man defense on this possession. Besteca dribbled inside, up and off the glass and in for Shaley. Northern Valley's going to find a way to score the basketballs. Now we've just got nine minutes remaining in this one. One left in the third quarter, down 13 as they get it into Hepsi. Now back to, to Ibera. She'll fire that up and she'll... Besteca's first attempt at the line, short, no good. Northern Valley needs to try and close this quarter out like the Cougars closed the half out and try to get this into a somewhat manageable game. But right now, if you're a Cougar fan, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep moving the ball around. Vesteca's second one, no good. Hepsi with the rebound. Keep moving the ball around. You're going to get an open shot, and they have knocked them down all day long. Mellinger inside to Hepsi. Looking for a skip pass now to Perez. Mack to Hepsi. Good ball movement here. Ripped out of there by Braxton Cox. We got a tie up. As the possession arrow shows, Northern Valley's going to get the ball. As they're now at 30 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Jylan now into a 2 3 zone. Inside to Mary Baird. Tough catch, but she makes it. A lot, a lot of arguing here with the officials from coaches and the crowd. Free throw attempts here by Perez. Second one also no good for Perez. Little ruckus in the crowd right now. I'm trying to do my best to hold my tongue as well. I hope you're alongside with me as the Cougars are making it happen here inside to Perubski. She'll score and Perez with a nice rip on the inbounds pass. A big collision out front. His foul will go against Vesteca. A lot of energy in the gym has been taken out of it. Yeah, Northern Valley just needs to keep, keep their heads together here and just, just be patient on offense. Work the ball around it and get a Long good three by Perez, no good. Out of there, could come out of the crowd is Vesteca. She'll fire it up. And that'll be the quarter. We're taking baked pizzas. They're also famous for their catering services. From cupcakes to a complete meal, McDonald Grocery is the place to check first. And welcome back here, everybody. <clears throat> Don Snyder, Harley Weiss. As we got fourth and final quarter coming up here. Cox takes it in all the way. Layup shot, no good. Rebound here, Bermudez. 17 point lead, 44 27 here in the fourth and final. And shot up here, Perez, no good. Deep there, I believe Spear there on the rebound, pushing it up here is Cox. She might just go coast to coast, splits the D. And bobbled it. It's going the other way there. So 44-27. <clears throat> Clock needs to be running. I guess that's in favor of Northern Valley, but Shylin up, shot up. It's going to be off there, Baird. Bermudez able to get the turnaround jumper, just couldn't quite finish it. Inbound underneath here, Bermudez. Skips it far side, Perez wide open. She's going to go ahead and take the jumper. Back of the iron, no good. Perubski rebounds, put back is. 
That's Perubski's sixth point of the game. Spirit outside here. And a travel. Charge. 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 Didn't see it. Looked down. Didn't see it. Offensive foul there, Northern Valley. Perez here for Shylin, dribbling it up across the timeline. Skips it clear over to Grace and a offensive foul down here on Bermudez right back to Northern Valley. <coughs> Stecka inbounds here, bringing it up is Cox. Bra Braxton Cox? Where's my program? Up top here is Baird. Swung near side, thinking about it. Pump fake. Get her for a travel. Right to inbound here. Shyland ball over the top. Perez will take it across the timeline. Swung over there, far side there to Ibera. Nice post move, Bermudez rebound ripped down there by Braxton Cox. She's gonna push it up a little bit. 46-27, near side. And Baird's gonna pull the trigger on a three and Bermudez with a block shot. Across the timeline there for Perez. Trying to get things going for Shylin. And dribble around, dish it off near side, Perubski with it. Right back to Perez, she's gonna dribble drive. There's gonna be a body contact there on 20. Whitney. That'll be the seventh team foul, one and one bonus here for Perez. Knocks down the first one. Knocking down the second one there for Perez. The Golden Plains Bulldogs. And welcome back. <clears throat> Across the timeline here for Perez. Dribbles it far side wing. Looks to hand it off. Try to get rid of it, gets it to Mellinger. Inside Hespi, little chip shot. Back of the iron, no good. Perez with a rebound, and they're gonna get the foul called on 20 there on the reach in, and Whitney. Double bonus here for Perez, two shots coming. First one up, no good, back of the iron. Free throw number two here in the double bonus. And Hespi rebounds, shot up, good for her. And they got an inbound. Good job by Cox, just letting it go once she's seen one of her players because she was about a second away from a five-second call. There was just nothing she could do. Cox with a shot up. No good, 2.20 left here in the fourth. Wright's going to mishandle it, have it taken away, and a jump ball goes to Shylin, stays here. Inbound here, Bermudez. Gonna go over the top here to Prez. Up top, setting the O up. 2.10 left here in the ball game. Bounce pass near side, Bermudez looking over the top to Hespi. Great entry pass, great finish there for Hespi. 57-33. Baird back up top. Whitney's gonna dribble drive. And it's going to be a deflection and a push foul from behind. So Wesk or Weskin, 
Northern Valley ball. Should be on this near sideline. Oh, actually, it shouldn't be on this near sideline because they're going to go to the free throw line and shoot a one and one here for Cox. Hit our last two, trying to go two straight here as well. One and one, front of the iron, no good. Long rebound here. Gets her own. Oh. Two shots coming. Second foul there on Bermudez, ninth team foul. The stack gets to the line here for two. Back of the iron, no good on the first one. <clears throat> no good on the second. Has to be rebounds near side out to right. Right with it here for Shylin. Trying to dribble near side, does. Now gets it to Hespi. Uses the body. Absorbs the contact, puts it in. 59 33, minute 20. Cox with it, setting everything up. It's Braxton. Far side, Spear. And great offense. Three point shot from the iron. Rebound there for Hespi. Whitney getting the shot they'd like. He'd like an open three, open look. Just fell short. Perez to the paint, and there's going to be a foul from behind there on Spear. Tristan, right? Tania. There it is. Tania. It's uh, actually, yeah, foul on Spear. Her second of the game, under a minute to go here. First one up, and good for Perez. 60-33. Perupski in for Bermudez. Second one up here, and it's good. Substitution here for... Shylin, I better come back into the game. Across the timeline here for Whitney. Bounce pass near side. Great look for Braxton Cox. Ooh, just off. Both those last two possessions have been ideal shots there for Northern Valley. Just haven't hit them. Any wide open look from the corner is... Good possession. Perupski post move, no good. Tipped around. And there's going to be a jump ball back towards the Lady Huskies. Cox to inbound. Vistecco will bring it up. He's ready to get it up the court. Shylin, not quite ready on defense. Loses it. And gets it right back near side. Whitney from downtown looks off to the right. It is an off. Oh, I thought Baird was going to save it for a second. Must have stepped on the floor out of bounds before saving it. 20 on the clock here for Shylin. Bounce pass here to right. 61-33. Shylin can dribble it out. Tough defense here, though, for Northern Valley. Shot up. Hespi. Puts it in, 63-33, final five seconds here. Cox rushing it up, two, one. Pulls up, attack line, and just short, 63-33, your final score.